Before Steve Nash, in 2008, I got diagnosed with diabetes, type 2. But I think I was really in denial about it because I, I just kind of ignored the diagnosis and, you know, just kept on eating junk food, watching TV, playing video games. I was over 330 pounds. I really didn't have that discipline because I've tried before. I just never followed through. Um, and that's when I got introduced to my trainer, Jonathan. Right after my chat with him, I knew that this is something I gotta do, and I gotta do it now. Because it was really, for me at that point, almost a life and death issue. Because I, I was, my sugars were so bad, and I was getting sores on my feet, I was getting pretty sick. I was on a CPAP machine, which is a, a ventilator that you need in order to breathe when you're sleeping, because I sleep at, or had sleep apnea. I joined the gym to turn all of that around. Within the first week, I knew that my own body's insulin was starting to work again. Because when you're diabetic, if you're low on sugar, you won't feel anything. But as soon as you start working out and you trigger your insulin, the body takes care of itself and starts to burn off all the sugars in your body. So when I've had my first sugar low, that was new for me. Because that doesn't happen unless you're active. So even though my doctor said, yeah, you had a sugar crash, he goes, but that's a good thing because it means that we can lower your meds. It felt empowering to actually know that, you know, your body is literally an efficient machine if you take care of it. And if you take care of your body, take care of your health, it'll take care of you. And I am living proof of that.